welcome to our uh, second June new member Q and A um, via Zoom. Uh, I'm Betsy Co, and uh, we use the term new member very, very loosely. Um, so you know, there's no sort of like line in the sand where um, you can't come and ask questions uh, after a certain point. You know, we we are all still learning. I I've been on WikiTree for five years. I still remember the uh, the learning curve that uh, I had to creep up, and um, you know, thanks to a lot of helpful uh, community members, I I was able to uh, to learn how to do things. Um, but I, I still learn things all the time. Um, and uh, so no one should, no question is too elementary. Um, we are going to try and, and keep things um, um, more elementary at the beginning um, so, so that we make sure that um, people newer to the platform have a chance to definitely get their questions answered. And then we'll certainly leave time for uh, intermediate um, questions or well advanced, maybe we can try um, if those come up as well later. So uh, I've been, as I said, I've been on Wikitree for five years. I'm a member of the, uh, I've got ancestry in England, the United Kingdom on my mother's side. So um, I'm in the England, Wales, Scotland projects, as well as the Canada project uh, and help coordinate the the Taiwan project where, where my paternal ancestry is. Um, mm -hmm. And I also uh, help uh, on the events committee, uh, as as does Steve. And uh, so things like the Connectathon and Wiki Games and Wiki Tree Day, um, we we help um, get organized for that. So um, Steve, you want to introduce yourself? All right. Thank you. So again, I'm Steve Greenwood, and uh, like uh, Betsy said, yeah, I am also part of the events committee. Um, when I'm available. <laughs> uh, and then I've been on the site for coming up on four years now. I think July is going to be my four anniversary for a year. Um, and again, I, I have background in uh, the Germany project, uh, Nodal's project. Uh, I have lots of different space pages and, you know, one name studies, one place studies I work on. Um, I'm kind of all over the place, really. And, um, you know, again, I, I'm also a Wiki founder, so I have a lot of Wiki background, uh, 20 years of that uh, coming into, you know, 16 years coming into WikiTree. Uh, so uh, I, I'm pretty well with the Wiki markup. If anybody has questions about, you know, any kind of formatting or stuff like that, I'm pretty good with that. You know, and the, the little bits, small bits of HTML that we use for citations. Um, but, you know, if there's any generalized questions, I'm usually able to help too. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the hardest things um, when you're getting started is how things look in edit mode, which can be really visually overwhelming. And then and then knowing how to translate how it translates over into, you know, the, the final product. So great. Yes, Steve is our wiki markup code expert. Um, Hillary, welcome from Wales. Yeah. I, I'm Hilary. I'm one of the project coordinators for both England and Wales projects. Um, I live in Wales, as you can see <laughs> from my thing. Um, and um, I've been on Wikitree since 2011, so about 13 years now. Um, so I'm quite, you know, I quite, know quite a lot about what's going on. I'm, I'm also a greeter and I'm, I'm also one of the mentors as well. So, um, uh, you know, I'm used to people asking questions <laughs> um, because I'm a trailblazer on the England project um, orphan trail and one of their project coordinators for the orphan trail on the England project, which was one of the first um, sort of members help things that we um, were set up, certainly in the England project. We decided that people, somebody decided that to people needed a bit of help and then we don't have to be correcting things so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, be, before um, we introduce Mary, um, I'll just explain for anyone who doesn't know about the, uh, the, the trails on Wikitree, there are a couple of projects who have them. Uh, England has, has one, Canada has one, and then uh, the Profile Improvement Project also has one. Um, they call it the, the PIP Voyage, um, but it's essentially the same thing. And so, is, so does the U.S. Black Heritage um, project. And so these are things that you can sign up for and you're paired up with somebody in the project. 
and uh, you you work on profiles under their supervision. Um, it's not, not a length of time. It's more like, you know, in the England project for each level, you do four profiles. Um, and uh, it's a wonderful learning project. Oh, and Scotland. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to say I did all three levels of the, the, the Tartan Trail in Scotland, and I learned so much. So um, really, really a wonderful thing about Wikitree. And Murray is our fourth co-host. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm, a, I'm a retired technical writer, and uh, I joined Wikitree um, about a month before the pandemic started. So um, I had lots of time learn how to use it and play around with it and uh and as a result um i found out that there's lots of tricky bits <laughs> and um so i i thought i'd come and help out here and see if i can share any wisdom i might have with with you and help you get going because we just need to add more people to the tree and get more people connected mm -hmm. yes yep here here well well, well said uh, so Jessica, would would you be willing to go first? Yes. Uh, what we'll do is we'll we'll screen share, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, if it's all right, I'll I'll go ahead and share my screen, um, and and then you can help us navigate around to your to your various profiles. Jessica, what while I'm doing that, do you want to just say a little bit about your background on WikiTree? um uh, do you mean my my ancestors or no just like how long have you been on wikitree oh and... i think i think uh a year or two okay uh, i migrated the information i had on paper mm -hmm. i migrated it to wikitree because i wanted to be available well to a, a greater um, to a larger number of people mm -hmm. and maybe eventually connected to possible relatives i might find mm -hmm. Um, I have some experience of wiki um, language because I, I was an early contributor to Wikipedia and then I stopped. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So um, now my, my interface is going to look a little different uh, mm -hmm. than some of yours if you do not have the Wikitree browser extension. Um, the Wikitree browser extension is a free add-on to whatever browser you use um, that basically pumps up your Wikitree experience. Um, so it, and there's there's quite a large number of um, things you can play with. Um, can you all can you all see what the pop up that I just got? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see, you know, you can toggle on and off uh, for all these things. You can customize the style. Um, you can really make it personal in terms of how you like to uh, to navigate on Wikitree. And even some of these, um, there's, you know, sub menus within, within the menu items. So um, um, I think I downloaded it, but then I couldn't uh, retrieve it. Where would I find it? Well, it's uh, what browser do you use, Jessica? um chrome chrome okay uh, well that's lucky me too um i i have uh this little jigsaw puzzle piece you see yeah. here mm -hmm. so if you click on that it will list all my extensions and so like for instance there's my wikitree browser extension whoops no that's not what i wanted to do so yep. and I, just i don't have that symbol Okay, but if well, you, you, don't have, you don't have the uh, jigsaw puzzle? No, I don't. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Settings yeah. should be able to open it up. You would be able to add it to the taskbar. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, this these are all the extensions. And if I want to turn things on or off, I, I would do it from from here. I, I think your, your best bet would probably be... Um, to do a you know an in, in internet search and see how mm -hmm. how how to find my extensions in Chrome. Okay. Usually, where uh, there's three dots is usually the three dots at the top will show you if it's not if it's not showing up on your toolbar. Right. Right. 
when in doubt, go for the three dots. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, um, oh, yes. found it. Oh, good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hillary, to the rescue. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, oh, apparently, I didn't download it. Maybe I oh, meant to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. do that later. All right. So um, so things might look a little bit different, but I see that um, you you put your privacy level so that your your family tree is public, which is wonderful. And it's how we collaborate, um, and yet you still get to uh, you know maintain your privacy. So that means that I can click on your ancestors. Mm -hmm. And so, is there a particular profile that you that you have questions about? You want us to take a look at? Well, I've come to a a brick wall with my great grandfather on my father's side mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. with my maternal grandfather. Okay. So, so I, just, I just added sources to Heinrich Willy Klotzing. Sorry? I, I just added a, um, a, a birth record and a marriage record to Heinrich Willy. Yes. And I found those on Ancestry and um, and I suspect that there may be others on Ancestry that I, well, it, I I published uh, more or less the same tree on Ancestry too. It's me who published it. Ah. Well, I didn't find it in tree. I just found records. Mm. What What is the name of your tree on Ancestry? Is it uh, Boveri Stammbaum? Okay, maybe you can find that. Um, now there is a way. To, uh, well, there are several ways to bring things over from other platforms. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of people like to do a JEDCOM. Um, I, 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 did, I did that after reading yep. uh, one of your latest Wikitree articles mm -hmm. last week. Yeah. Uh, I, I downloaded a JEDCOM file and I think I uploaded it into Wikitree too. Yeah. But there was a notice uh, saying that I had several problems and mainly sources uh, were missing, I believe, and the gender was not indicated. So I managed to change the gender, although, I mean, uh, I was, for example, I was listed as daughter. So to me, the gender was clear. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that um, JEDCOM thought the gender was not listed. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I... I changed what I could and the rest I didn't have a clue mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I I mean I think a lot of people are uh, maybe if they don't read closely they they don't realize at first that importing a jedcom isn't just an automatic dump that the the system wikitree will will then ask you to go through all the profiles and it's to to avoid duplicates which is one reason. And then um, once, because because it may well be that there's one of your ancestors is already on Wikitree. Um, now I can see um, from this little icon up here, this is, this is a feature from the Wikitree browser extension. Um, this shows me that you, uh, you're not yet connected to the big tree. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that, you know, that will be a very exciting day. Yes. You Definitely. go to add somebody and the system says, wait, they're already here. <laughs> and uh, I also took a DNA test um, uh -huh. and it's being processed. I haven't gotten the results yet, but I should receive them in about four weeks time. And mm -hmm. I'm going to import them into Wikitree, hoping to find some, some relatives. Great. Yeah. And Mur Murray is our, our DNA expert. Um, so um you know, he can talk in a little bit about, about what that will look like for you. So you know what to expect. Um, so let's see. Um, Murray said that there's a source with some parents. Now he's broken the brick wall. Oh. <laughs> All right, Murray, go for it. <laughs> okay. We can use the actual sources, not the tree that might be referencing the sources. So this is how we move forward on Wikitree. Um, the other, the other very important extension um, that's helpful is called Sorcer. Yes. Uh, yeah, Sorcer is great, and you can see up here I have this little one. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, let me see. There's some some very. I'm just going to quickly go to uh, a record that Murray has already found. I'm not going to go. 
Okay. So there, there is the image. record that Murray found. And with this, what I can do is I can click on this. Now you'll see I get a I get a large menu. And then down here, I can either build an inline citation, which would be, you know, within the narrative and it would be supporting a specific fact. We'll show you what that looks like, or a source citation, which is the list at the bottom. Now, Murray's already added the source, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. But if I clicked on this, it would say citation is copied to your clipboard. And it's amazing to me. It, it happens in less under a second. And then I could go back to my profile and and paste it in. So you have these are inline citations here. Um, so so it supports uh, the birth and the parents and then the marriage. Uh, yes, Anne. Yeah, and one thing nice about Wikisourcer is that it's going to be perfect when we do the connection bond, which you are hosting the Newt team, and it'll be fantastic using it. Yeah, yes. So actually, a note about that um, for everyone here, as well as those watching, is that the Newt team is going on summer break. So for the July Connectathon, um, we're not going to have the oh, new team, but sorry. but it's okay. The okay. newts will be the newts will be back for Sourceathon in early October. So not to worry, we're just uh, we're just going fishing for for the month of July, um, so to speak. Sorry. But any of those members could join any other team that is participating. Right. right. So um, to back up a little bit, um, NEWT is an acronym that you'll hear a lot on Wikitree, and it stands for NEW to Wikitree. And uh, so uh, I started a team uh, this past April for Connectathon for for new members or anyone who had not done a thon before. We have four marathons during the year. One of them, uh, three of them, are Connectathons, where the goal is. To, um, to add on to existing profiles. Um, maybe you have your grandparents, but you haven't added on any, any of their siblings uh, or, or you know, a lot of people would like to do direct ancestry. So the Connectathon can be a great time to do that. We make it fun by having teams and, and you get a point for every profile you add. And then Sourceathon, which happens in the fall, is just going into Wikitree and looking for profiles that don't have a source and making sure that they have at least one source. And every profile that you do that for, you get a point. Um, again, teams, same teams. So um, the thons are, are great fun. It's like 72 hours. And of course, people are working all around the world. And, um, you know, it's amazing what we get accomplished. So, okay, but we digress. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a good point to make. Um, so these are inline citations. And because I have the browser extension, I have this nice little pop-up feature. So I can go, I can immediately see uh, what it is. Um, if it was a source citation, it would just have an asterisk uh, or a bullet point, a bullet point in the source, but it would be a little less clear as to what, what it's supporting. Um, now, the other oh, wonderful thing you can do with Sourcer is all this at the top. So uh, I know Murray's already been working on Ancestry. So Family search is the other place where we uh, we all very often go. It's nice because there's no paywall. Um, so let's see what we can find for your. Oh, I got a. <laughs> That's a drawback. <laughs> well, they have to they now. Now you have to do it every day. I know. Oh, yeah. the cookies. Yeah. Logs you out every time. Exactly. All right. <laughs> You can actually change your settings so you don't have to do it every day. Really? Really? Yes, thank yeah, you. Go, go into the privacy section and, yes. and, really and no. find a place where you can paste in the URL. Mm -hmm. You have to do it two places. Okay. But it works. Oh, great. Oh, that's good to know. Um, thank you. Well, we all learned okay. something new. So, um, Jessica, have you used FamilySearch before? No, I haven't. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Do any of these, for instance, does this look correct? No, no, because um, um, in my maternal surname there is a there are two dots on the O, and that's a very distinctive feature. Mm. Well. These are also classes and not clot sings. Mm -hmm. I, I am, I'm not sure. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And usually the more promising ones but, come up at the top. Kletzing yeah. probably is the right pronunciation because the umlaut, well, sorry. Well, let me just show, okay. So even though this is, this is not your ancestor, I just want to show one thing about about family search. If I click on the record, supposing this were relevant, the mm -hmm. thing I like about uh, family search, besides the fact that it's free, is mm -hmm. over here, you can just copy citation. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can also run sourcer on it. That's no problem. But, um, but it's really nice. It just goes to your clipboard. Then you hop back to your profile and, and you paste it in. So. And this way you can actually verify the information line by line and know that it's the mm -hmm. correct one. It's not automating the process. Mm -hmm. Yep. But in this case, we've determined this is not the Willie right. Klotz yeah, thing or Klutzing that we're talking about. Just wanted to show that off. Move on, yeah. Okay. All um, right. It could be that it's trying to look for Willies and it's not looking for Hen Henrik's or, or it could be Henry. But if he stayed in Germany the whole time, he's probably going to remain a you know Heinrich or Henrik. It looks like there's a Henrik as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's there's no transition of the name from um, what am I trying to say emigration? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but is family search is family search an American website? Yes, it's uh, through okay. the uh, the Church of Latter Day Saints. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they run free. it, uh, but it's free and open to everybody. So just, uh, I'll just take you to the homepage, familysearch.org. It's unlikely that they will be recorded there as they were based, they were based, based in Germany. My ancestors were in Germany. They didn't move. Right. Oh, Steve, can you speak to that? Uh, I mean, there are plenty of records that remain with German without immigration so that this doesn't cover just americans this this covers anybody that has records uploaded to family search so if they stayed in germany france britain what have you okay and there's records for it yeah then they should still be on family it's, search it's worth it's very very much worth a try um mm -hmm. let's see um so i think the search terms aren't working out we may have to be more specific and not use the middle name because that could be throwing off the search Mm -hmm. And family search can be a little particular in how you do the search. You, you have to finagle with it. Mm -hmm. So for uh, especially instance, since we don't have a death date attached to that person. Yeah, that does make it tri tricky. Um, no. Nope. Okay. Is this it's also including birth change. information? Wait, can I'm you, sorry. Can you scroll down a little bit on the right? Yeah, see, so it, it's fixing this information. It's it's assuming that it's going to fall within this year and this range. So it's looking for a very particular person. Mm -hmm. If we remove some of these, it might widen our search a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I tend to not go that route by having it force information in. I go wide and then I kind of go down. That's true. Yeah, you you mm -hmm. initially that's a, a new and a novice mistake is that if you're highly specific, that that'll be best. But sometimes it's best to even leave out things like gender sometimes right because these things don't necessarily have all yeah. the data points that we have it's trying to throw the entire kitchen sink at it right so you want to look for a name or you know one place or something like yeah. that yep hi jerry welcome you have a hi. question um going wide like that's what i'm having trouble with i can't find my father's records or anything and i'm not trying to butt in hun i just okay. um going wide it's hard to understand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, one thing you can do is start specific. And then if you're getting nothing, no results, no results, just one at a time, uh, delete, oh. take these out, you know? Um, and Jerry, we could we could have a look for your father. Um, so um, yeah, let's just finish up with Jessica first. And yeah, so Jessica, is there another profile that you'd like us to look at? For... Yes, my great-great-grandfather, uh, okay. who was 
born in 1848 and I know he had uh, siblings but I can't find anything about them okay so okay. your second great-grandfather at the very top Giuseppe Bavari yes yes okay that's here oh oh this okay. one yeah second grade okay um, aha um, unknown Bavari and mother unknown peasant Okay. Now, one thing, um, well, Jessica, I know that you, you know about G2G um, because you, you and I exchanged a message there. Mm -hmm. I might want to post a, a uh, query on a question on G2G about your, about Giuseppe. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is tag it with Italy. Okay. And that way the people on the Italy project will see it and they may be able to help you. Oh, Chris great. might come right in for it. Yeah. Yeah. Italian project. Uh -huh. Is there an easy way to tag it? I don't understand how to yeah. do that. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, wiki tree. Thank okay. you. Yep. So if I go to my G2G feed, um, and okay, so supposing I want to ask a question, test. Okay, so here's my um my um template, and I might I might say um, genealogy help for you, Jessica, um, and mm -hmm. then then you would add your question. You should definitely include his profile ID to make it easier for them. And there's a field for that. Oh, below oh that. yeah. So you mm -hmm. would put his profile ID here. And then Jerry, here is where you would put a tag in. So you would just say um, Italy. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Chris, uh, Chris is very good doing with Italy project. Yeah, so we're talking black. about uh, uh, Chris Ferriolo, uh, who is, um, if you watch on any of the live casts, he's very often in the audience and, and um, you know, a wonderful contributor. So he's very, uh, he's an American, but very, very active in the Italy project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very helpful. Actually, um, so, I'll link to him. Right. Okay. So that is how you tag. spell his last name. Uh, so this is less, this is more of a research question than it is a formatting question. So, hmm. and he was born and died in Italy. I think the best thing, um, is, is to, to ask in G2G. Okay. Thank you. And also, um, if you have my heritage, uh, I know, I know it's a paid site, but it does help um, the records, your your payment records, in, which I do mostly because I do have it in my family. I can tell from your surname. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, let's see. I see, Jessica. This is this is. Um, you, I'm sure you're close to being connected because even though you're not connected to the big tree, you have 200 connections. So you put 200 profiles in. Wow. So that's that's fantastic. Um, so you can see, are, are you familiar with the concept of your CC7? No, I'm not. Ah, okay. So your CC7 is your close connections within seven degrees, okay. which includes marriage. Um, so it um, it's larger than you might expect sometimes. Um, so of course, parents, degree one, and then, you know, just basically the number of steps to get, to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's a fun thing. If we go to apps and six degrees, mm -hmm. okay, well, no, sure. It does. It does mine first because I'm the one running it. So just give it a, a second. This, by the way, is um one of the mm -hmm. apps developed by Gray Clark. We have a marvelous um team of volunteer developers who wow. are responsible for all these apps. The brow, you know, WikiTree browser extension, the um, sourcer. I mean. We just <laughs> we just owe them everything for you know sharing their talents with us. 
So um, this takes a second. All, all connections of degree six are now loaded. So here's me in the center, and then it's showing my my successive um con you know my circles of connection so there here's yep yeah, here's me in the different colors i think no and okay and there's your seven yes i got the idea yep yep so would you want to see it for yourself yes please uh, yeah <laughs> um, so all, all, i'm going to just do a new id Four. Mm -hmm. Yep, four. It's thinking. Oh, five. Ooh, wait a minute. She does have seven degrees. Wow. Yeah. She has, oh, she has three so, and seven degrees. And I, I like as well that um, you do have the, 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 yes, the number. Mm -hmm. numbers. Numbers, yeah. Yeah, she's connected. 200 connections, but not connected to the tree. I can't right. see any kind of uh, connection finder stuff at the bottom of her profile. Right. Uh, right, right. A very large, yeah. very large leaf branch happening right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will know when you're connected to the tree. Um, how do, uh, your, how do well, I connect my, my tree to the big tree? Well, you're going to have to keep building until... Okay. You try and add somebody. Oh, okay, until I find somebody. Yeah. Okay. And the the easiest way I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna try not to make everybody dizzy. But if you go mm -hmm. to the bottom of your profile, I need to Yeah, epilepsy. Got lots of thank you. Okay. So there you go. We have uh, a connection, uh, profile connection theme. This week it's related to the War of the mm. Roses. And so because I can see this, uh, we know that I'm connected into the big tree. Oh. That's one way. Uh, Yours may also by the too. small symbol next to- Yes, as family. well as that symbol up at the top. So it's fun because uh, if I go to this one, it will show me my path. Wow. Yeah. So here's here's Perkin. Here's me, and the color changes refer to a marriage. Uh -huh. So, so uh, here's Helen and Hiram are married. Then we have green, 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 and then we have another mm -hmm. marriage. And Go she, ahead and show the alternative view because that that usually uh, depicts it a little bit better. Uh, this one. Yes. You may have to zoom out a little bit to find the pieces. Oh, there we go. But yeah, there we can see the relationship as it goes mm. across. Yes, it's easier. It's more intuitive. Oh, I didn't see that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. so Betsy would be on the far right. Yes, there I am, the, the mm. top right corner. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> so it's not direct. You know, there, there's some <laughs> jump over happening, but it's a nice little stair step pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand this at all. I you could turn it into a graphic symbol. Zoom, zoom out. Oh, zoom out. Yeah, is that Jerry who said you didn't understand? I, no. Do you understand? Do you like the other view better? I don't understand any of it. Oh, okay. Well, um, so basically, it's just showing that if you, I, I think of it as like playing a board game. So you've got your little marker and oh, you roll five and you move five spaces. So it's the same thing. It's saying you would have to go 20 moves to get from me to Perkin Warbeck. So oh. you know, first move would be my mother and then her father and his mother. And, and so, um, and all we were saying about the colors is it represents that we yes. had a move that went through a marriage. That's, thank you. Great explanation. Yeah. Yeah. If, if it were all green, if there were no yellow, mm -hmm. that would show a blood direct. Cat. Yeah, direct. Right. Send right. It. Yeah, it would go straight back and then straight forward again right. down a branch. Um, and Ooh. I'm going to show one more thing, which I just want to make sure everyone's aware of. Under my wiki tree, you know, this is an alphabetical menu. Um, you can look at your watch. Yes. 
Yeah, you know about that? Familiar with that, yes. Good, good. Um, so that's very handy. I wish you were on it, Betsy, because I can't find you sometimes. Like today at, on the iPad, it was all all erased oh. on this on uh, one that makes everything pretty. Yeah, I can't yeah. think of the name. Not the sorcerer, but the other one. The wiki tree browser. Marie knows the name of it. Yeah, the browser. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, um, yeah. Um, you know, but it's not I, on this on on my uh, iPad. Not on my yeah, iPad. yeah. You can always find. Uh, let's see where 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 am I? My on uh, my profile. Um, I, I think I there? said this last time, Jerry, but I didn't demonstrate it. Um, up at the top of my profile, if you click on this, that takes you to the the Q and A free space page. I couldn't find any of it. I couldn't find your profile. I typed in Cole Betsy. I, but I I did the capitals. I didn't know. Okay. It's all lowercase. All right. Well, maybe just jot, jot down my profile ID. So that's a good idea. Co thirty one. Yeah. Co thirty one didn't work. Co dash thirty one. Well, yes. Co dash. Yeah, I did. I is that all lowercase or uppercase or uh, capital K and little O? It really shouldn't matter. It did though. It didn't work. Co thirty one. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the capitalization does not matter. You can put in a lowercase k and an o dash 31, and it still pulls her up. Uh, you just have to type it into the last name field. Uh, if you're going to search for the profile ID, if you're searching yeah. for her actual name, then you want to use both first and last name fields. So this this free space page is is our clearinghouse. I really try and keep it up to date. So uh, like for the current month, it will give you uh, the Zoom link. There's today. Mm -hmm. um, it can take you right to the G2G post for the month and then the recordings. So it's, uh, you know, sort of meant to be one stop. Ooh, very one -stop nice. Clearing. Remember when we didn't have this, Betsy? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you and I, you helped me a lot on it, um, Steve. So we, it's, I, I was like, we need to have this one-stop shop and, and look at how helpful it's been. So yeah, sure. sorry, I flexed a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so, it really, really is helpful to have this one place that people can go to hmm. instead uh, of trying to find it in G2G. Right, right. How did um, you find that page? I don't want to lose it again if I'm on my husband's ipad uh this page yes can you bookmark yeah. it uh how, I, I, can, I don't know how to bookmark it on surrey okay uh, on you know what i mean ipad it's my husband's ipad so i don't know why it was all yeah like, yeah so well, at least in google chrome the little star next to the url will allow you to bookmark any page so I don't know what shows oh, up visibly okay. on your URL bar. I'll go on Chrome then. I'll yeah. set my settings to Chrome then. Thank you. If, okay. if you have Chrome for iPad, I, I know that iPad uses Safari as its I do. browser. I do. Thank and you. I'm not sure about the compatibility of Safari with um, WikiTree. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause WikiTree runs on Safari. Right. I, I'm not sure how it appears then, you know, URL bars, et cetera. Oh, right. So I, I don't deleted know my cookies and I'm just wondering if that's why it deleted all my stuff that used to be on there. Hmm. Could it, Murray or Steve? I don't know. Mm -hmm. If I deleted all my Safari cookies. Um, if you delete your cookies, it'll affect, you know, it'll, it'll forget some things, but it won't, uh, won't prevent you from using the software. That's funny. It's Does all it blank. Bookmarks? I was really upset. <laughs> no, I mean, cookies are the little keys and tokens that you know, these sites communicate yeah. with to remember if you've been somewhere, it caches information. So you might be clearing out your cache, should be clear out your cookies. But I don't think it clears out bookmarks because you've actually told it, hey, I want to save this page for future reference. Right. Uh, that's the best information I have. Right, bookmarks day. Yeah, but I but I gather, um, Jerry, you do a lot with uh, voice dictation with Siri. Yes, I do. Yeah, that's that's probably what's tripping you up. Um, and I I don't know. I would have to experiment with it a little bit. 
um, and see accessibility thing. how to really how to appreciate that. Them. Thank you for your time, guys. Yeah, of course. Where Jessica, if I may ask you, do, do yes. you have the sorcerer? Sorry? Do you have the sorcerer installed? No, I haven't. Okay, that you should look into that. Um, okay. I, I posted the URL for it. Thank you. And so I added sources to your maternal grandfather, and then I found his father. Yes, and I, I added I've him, just and seen I put that. in sources Thank you very for much. him. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> the sources for him also name his parents. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now, if you use the sorcerer, um, I, what I'm finding is that there are sources on ancestry for this family. I couldn't mm -hmm. find any on um, family mm -hmm. search. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend getting the sorcerer and, and trying working with that. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. Again, these are the in German. In a few minutes, I've made far more progress than I did in the last ten years. <laughs> amazing! Wow. That's exciting. Isn't that amazing? Yay! But those I'm are the German sorry. ones, right, Marie? Say that again, Steve. But those are the German ancestors. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, didn't need my help. <laughs> um, well. There's a, there's a lot more sources to be found. I'm just you right. know, yeah, I know. One we can keep going. It still branches out. Yeah. yeah. One thing I said about the sorcerer is like like where it says it goes to the parent and then and then it goes to the other parents' parents, you know, mm -hmm. which is great. Yes. Once you know how to use it, it's so easy. And I've been stuck for so many years. Mm -hmm. And and also one thing, guys, Wiki Tree does have lots of YouTubes that are helpers of sorcerer mm -hmm. because that's what I had to use. <laughs> I I never knew I never used sorcerer before. And one thing nice about uh YouTube is that they have lots of wiki tree sort uh data that you could uh tips that you could use. Mm -hmm. Right. But honestly yeah. sometimes it just takes another person to look at it. You know, you could be working on it for years and yes. not moving forward. And as soon as there's another avenue that opens up you know mm -hmm. new things happen so like for example my 10th cousin on wiki tree opened up a whole another brick wall of something that i couldn't crack for years mm -hmm. you know or even my my grandparents couldn't even figure out uh and then just like there it was open and and then i had a whole new area of research i was able to do with him because we have the same mutual ancestors yes, so. yes. Mm -hmm. yep um so just going back in the chat um Sue asked an excellent question. What are the rules on adding photos of sources? Uh, yeah. Good one. So um, I, I'd like to, uh, I, I know people do it. Um, and um, we do have, it's part of our honor code uh, bullet points that um, we respect copyrights. And so that that is an interesting uh, question. Um, you know, one thing, that I do that that is okay. Uh, let me share this screen with you. Um, is and again, this is something that you can you can get through WikiTree browser uh, extension. Is um, to once you find a census record, it will create a household table for you. And um, oh, I've been doing it the hard way forever yeah yeah so oh. just, uh within this oh uh, how did you do that? well how did i do it yeah um well yes, please show us <laughs> okay um if i go let me let me go to one of these okay here is the census which i've gotten on family search i'll go to that and now now that i'm on the record when i do the pull down menu um Table tables, okay. Build, build. Household table. What? <laughs> yep. You didn't know about what that thing. Buy me a copy. And yes, you could buy Bob Rob Patty a copy. <laughs> <laughs> a household um, table. What is it? What is that? So the household table is this. This is a household table. So it basically transfers oh. the information. Um, that is that has been transcribed for the census. To my mind, uh, it is it is um, okay to do this. Um, it gives all the information, and then I figure anyone who wants to look at the the original record, which I would, um, can just go to this link. Mm -hmm. But then, then I'm not 
um, not violating any copyright. Now, um, there have been one or two times when there's been a transcription error. I was going to say, you got to check them because they may not be correct. Yep. Uh, <laughs> let me show you what I did here. And what do you check it against? Well, I checked it against the record. Um, this was an interesting okay. one. Here's my third great grandfather. And um, he, I, I put in a research note. Um, so I did all these tables. That's pretty. Yeah, there's, wow. uh, let's see. Okay, I found, so in this research note, this was really interesting. Um, I found multiple transcriptions for his surname in the 1861 census. Family search transcribed it as Kaylee. Um, but when you look at, you, you know, I just really examined closely. If you looked at the rest of the page and the handwriting of the enumerator, the capital E, which starts Elizabeth in elsewhere on the page, really does match with what they mm -hmm. see. Um, and then Isaac's place, and then um, there was something else. His place of birth was transcribed as Yetsbury by Ancestry and as Spellsbury by Family Search. Mm. Either of these is a place in Wiltshire, Wiltshire, which is where Yatesbury, whereas what Yatesbury is. And that's where I know he was born on all, well, according uh -huh. to all the censuses. Mm -hmm. And okay, I signed so it. So um, I went Thanks, ahead um, and I did, I, you know, based on all of that, I made the change. Mm -hmm. You know, you could change it within the, the formula for the household table because I felt confident about that. And you gave mm -hmm. a rational argument as to why you made that change in the research notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. May Go I ahead, add Marie. something about copyright? Yes, please, Marie. So, so, often so, so if there's a record um, available somewhere on the internet that you can point to, that that's what you should do. You should point to some official source of this record, okay? But let's say you've got, you know, your niece's baptismal, or maybe not your niece's, your aunt's, your dead aunt's uh, baptismal record. And let's say that that record isn't available on the internet anywhere. And you want to make that uh, visible. Well, make a make an image of it and save that image on Wikitree and, and, and then refer to that. Um, eventually, if that image starts to appear in Ancestry and Family Search, you might want to reconsider and you might want to get rid of the private version that you've got and, and only refer to the public version. Oh. But, um, you know, basically with the copyright thing, the idea is that we're not going to, um, we're not going to make copies of things that are, that have some kind of, kind of copyright on them. But if you've mm -hmm. got a document that you have a private copy of, um, then, then certainly you can make an image of it. But oh, if you're, sure. if you're looking at an image on, you know, that ancestry is sharing with you, you shouldn't copy that image into WikiTree. Mm -hmm. Stephen. I was going to add, do you then own the copyright on that original document that you've uploaded? No one else should be referencing that without your permission or so forth. I mean, like, like taking a photo on find, find a search or it's not, sorry, find a grave. Like you take the photo of the cemetery's headstone it's your image it's your copyright if somebody right. else uses it then they might be in violation right right so here's an example to that point um on the same profile i went ahead and i ordered their marriage certificate from the the general registry office so i okay. i physically own this copy i took a photo of it and then i said photo of certificate in possession of me mm -hmm. and i think that that that's okay um since I, I did the same yeah. well you know strictly speaking you should you should uh, identify the source of that certificate i mean you you purchased a copy of a certificate mm -hmm. okay so so yeah. so they they have the copyright they own the copyright you you mm -hmm. you purchased a copy of it mm -hmm. yeah that's the thing about records from you know actual record locations they say don't copy this document don't distribute this co this mm -hmm. document because you paid for it uh they still own it and it's in their records uh, oh. 
but after a certain point, you know, it may fall into the public domain, you know, right, right. Years, well, so. it was 1845, so it's... Uh, a thing to be noting about censuses, though, censuses are works of government, so they're technically not able to be copywritten. However, there are companies like Ancestry that will claim copyright over it within their contract law, saying that you can't distribute it. But at the same time, if it's available in FamilySearch, it's, it's out there, it's public. Um, so so there, there's some wishy-washy kind of rules regarding censuses, at least. Uh, but generally, I find that they're not copyrighted. What's your take on that, Murray? Well, yeah. So, you know, I spent a lot of time hanging around with a copyright lawyer in San Francisco. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so so basically, when, when Ancestry has copied a census, that's their copy of the census. Yes. Right now, yeah, the government created that. And if you want to go back to the original government source, then you can copy that without any any restrictions. Right. But if you've got Ancestry's copy of it, mm -hmm. then that's not copyright free. It's it's Ancestry's copy. Mm -hmm. And so you have to at least give credit. Mm -hmm. like, um, and then and then attribution. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then and then there's questions of fair use as well. Um, so, for example, here with 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 Betsy has a copy of a copyrighted document, um, but it's I think in this case it's fair use, right? It's it's only attached to um, the single person for whom it's relevant. Mm, in it's a, not the whole document. Yeah, and 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 it's um, it it has a nominative pur purpose. So, with regard to copyright, you know, for example, we can say the word Coca Cola. We're allowed to do that because for nominative purposes, you can't talk about Coca-Cola without mentioning Coca-Cola. Mm. Right. So you can't about talk about not it, Pepsi. You can't talk about this certificate without talking about this certificate, right? So so it's fair use. But if you were to publish this in a um in an article on the web, you know, to talk about the whole the whole notion of genealogy and you know, general purpose audience, as opposed to a very restrictive audience of the people who are looking at this profile. But, you know, then again, I'm we're being pedantic here because, I mean, who's going to chase us down, really? Mm -hmm. I, um, we are in this out of wanna, caution. If, if I haven't already, or we haven't already convinced everybody about how wonderful mm -hmm. um, uh, Sorcerer is, let me just show one more very cool thing that you can do with it. I'm just going to get... That's cool. I, I did learn about the tables, at least. That was very cool. Uh, okay. So here's, here's a census. Okay. So supposing... Now, I would, I would actually usually do this in the opposite direction. In other words, I'm going to show you how to get from from family search to ancestry, but it would be more useful if you find a census on here. Wait a minute. Never mind. Here's a census on ancestry. Right. Okay. Right. So um, let's see. If I go to this field, I was here. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Sorcerer. You need to go to the record. Yeah. I'm going to search family search for the specific record instead of for a person. And boom, there it is. If you actually had the record open, it would could take you straight to just that record. Really? Right. I sometimes I found it to be fussy. It, it's uh not not always consistent. But I usually work look on Ancestry for a lot mm. of census records because they're quite good at showing you the census records for a, a range, and right. then go to and then go to either Family Search or or for the UK ones I go oh, to Send yeah. for a lot of them because they're very better transcriptions. Mm -hmm. um, but then a lot of them aren't on there yet. Um, but but. Sometimes I'll go to, I'll use it to go on to Ancestry and then I'll look for it on um, Find My Past if I can't find it on Family mm -hmm. Search because yep. um, Find My Past provide the census images certainly for, for the ones, the countries that I'm doing for England and Wales. Mm -hmm. the, yep. um, they, the Find My Past do a lot of the um, census um, 
transcription things which can quite often be wrong and I usually quite often I'm quite often correcting the the transcriptions particularly the 1921 one but um I've, I've actually put a link in the chat to a, a profile that I was working on today because I had to I was updating the, I went on it to update the marriage information because it didn't have a county on it and I've actually done most of the sourcing on that one today and I've done it all using saucer and I actually found another marriage because um, what was originally on that profile as a, as a possibility for a pre of a, an earlier marriage was actually wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, did you want did you want to show that, Hillary? Your I can do. Yeah, yeah. I've actually got it up on my screen at the moment, so I can easily easily screen share. And I just want to make a quick note about the last page we were looking at. That person was not connected into Family Search. It was just a floating record for that person. So the the way that we were able to get to that record through Ancestry, like it looks like that's the best way to get a hold of that, you know, that record. Because you can't find it through a, a person's profile on Family Search. Does that make sense? It hasn't been attached to the tree on Family Search yet. No. No. But anyway, go, go, we can go ahead and move on. <laughs> this this profile when I came to it, I didn't have any of these sources on. So I've managed to find a um, baptism source um, and I found the 1871 census, which it's done as a table, but slightly differently because I've got oh. mine set up differently. I've got mine set up as a list rather than the table oh. format. So you can actually, if once you've got saucer, um, installed you can have it how you want to have the layout mm -hmm. for the census because not everybody likes to have the see the big tables so that you can have, have different tables and I, I i've started using the lists because it's easier to, to read sometimes so um and that and um because i've got it set up to do a narrative for me it automatically i've also got it set up to automatically do the tables for me as well so i only have to press saucer once to create the whole narrative and the uh the the list of people that are in that census so i've got a similar thing for 81 and 91 and then this lady got actually married in 1896 which was one that i found today because we had the name on there from her second marriage but we didn't have her first marriage she's she's only got if you have a look on there let's just scroll back up She's only got this as a spouse. She hasn't got another spouse attached, so it needs the it needs the other uh, spouse oh. attaching. Um, and I, this is what I had to correct because originally it was spelled C O N I G S B Y, and the and it had Lincoln rather Lincoln, rather than Lincolnshire, which um, the uh, wiki the um, when we when they do all the categorization, it wouldn't recognize that as a county it'll only recognize mm. Lincolnshire as a county so um, I'm about to update it so then so then I managed to find her um, in so once she mar got married I then managed to find her in the, the 1901 census um, with her husband and her husband's uh, sister there so um, I've got there's more people that could be added as well um, and I've managed to find her in 1911 and I've now um, got the second I've got the death of I've added the death of a of a first husband so that we knew that she definitely was a widow when she married um, and that I've added a second marriage there and the 1921 census is where I've where I'm up to with that one um, she's where she's married again it, the next thing i will be looking for is the 1931 or 1939 register for for england because that um that's the we don't we didn't have a census or the or the census for 1931 i think has been destroyed there wasn't one um and then uh so the so the next thing we've got is they took up they took a register um when just before the war set the war in 39 and then we haven't got a census till 1951 in um 
England. So I'm, I'm, I may be around for that, but I don't think I'll be around for the first one that I'm on, that's, that's for certain. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. So I've got a, a little bit of work left to do on on that one to to improve it, but we, is there's an awful lot of information you can get from the census by adding all those people on. I, if they're not, there is a lot of uh, siblings there, so we can just check that we've got them all, and obviously we can check that we've got the right parents and everything as well. Now, so I'll stop sharing. Hey, oh, thank you. That was great to see. Yeah. Uh, let me just um, answer. One more question. We are, we are, uh, we've reached our hour. Um, and, um, but I want to show um, an answer to Jerry's question about how to change your email. Um, that's, that's a really easy thing to do. Let me share again. And Jerry, you're, with regard to your other questions, um, uh, let me follow up with you by email. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so here I am on my own profile. Um, and this is maybe uh, a little bit, uh, let's see, where is settings? You wanna do settings, my wiki trees. Okay, so under my wiki tree, I guess you don't have to be on your, your own profile, strictly speaking, but go to settings. And there are my personal settings. Uh, you can, just go down to email and let's see. Okay, it's not there. Password, time zone. Almost there. Maybe. Mm -hmm. No. Not there. Well, I saw it linked in the table of contents. Did you go past it? Oh, no, that's password to change your email address. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to have mud on my face. Okay. All right. So under settings to can you change your email address, click here and it just uh, takes you to the edit page for it you. It takes you to the edit page for your profile. So you could just oh. do that and, and just, uh, there's, there it is. So now super. I'm Thank you so much. Don't Hello. click on deactivate account. Oh, no. Don't click on that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much. You're welcome. Um, now, I did want to uh, to announce that uh, school is school is out for the summer. We we're going to take July off from the new member uh, sessions. So, uh, but we'll be back. We'll be back in August. So, uh, and, oh. and so far as I know, we're going to continue with the same schedule of second Thursday of the month at 8 p.m. Eastern time and fourth Sunday of the month, uh, 10, no, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So I will put up a, a G2G post and everything will be updated in that new member uh, Zoom um, free space page. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we've Thank all you. put, uh, Hillary, would you throw your, if you would, if you would, my, wouldn't mind putting your profile ID in the chat? Yeah, no problem. We've it, all put it, our, our profile it, yeah. IDs and yep. so you can reach any of us uh, mm -hmm. through a private message or a comment on our profile pages. So um, thank you very much. I'm going to stop the recording and uh, we hope that you'll see, uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.